Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business. Innovation. Transformation. Momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, Pennsylvania's pivotal role in the past, present, and future of commercial nuclear energy. Former Pennsylvania Governor Dick Thornburg will be here to talk about it. But first, our region's economy is already outperforming the national average, and it just may get another big boost. Shell has completed an option on a site in Beaver County, Pennsylvania for a proposed petrochemical complex. The facility would include what is commonly known as a cracker. It would process natural gas liquids from the Marcellus Shale Reserve to create polyethylene and other feedstocks for manufacturing facilities. If it happens, the project would represent the largest from the ground up industrial investment in our region in more than a generation, with the potential to create thousands of temporary and hundreds of permanent jobs for workers in Ohio, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania, and to attract additional manufacturing investment as well. I asked Dennis Yavlonsky about it. He's chief executive officer of the Allegheny Conference. This is a, an historic project. Uh, the magnitude of it in terms of the, uh, the jobs, uh, the construction around it, the impact on the supply chain, the, the whole region, and maybe most importantly, a significant project that will uh, keep our gas here, uh, let us take advantage of the economic value of the gas to create jobs and economic activity. So it's, it's just a, it's an historic project and uh, we don't know all the final details yet, but the, the magnitude of this leads us to believe that this could be the largest single uh, industrial investment in a generation in our region. Amazing. So is it a done deal? Well, this is, it's, it's an important point. This is a important next step. Uh, Shell has not made a commitment yet to the project. What they've done is signed an option agreement on the piece of property that they've decided is the best location for this project in Beaver County. So it's an important step. It now allows the next steps of evaluation and uh, permitting and so forth to go forward. But uh, we all have to keep working together because this is uh, it's not over yet. We have to keep, uh, keep, uh, keep together and keep working on it. The announcement is the latest in a string of positive news about our region, including a ranking by Site Selection Magazine as number three among large metros in the United States for business investment last year, much of it driven by the growth of a number of energy-related industries here. Well, Doug Hoyt's been watching it all unfold and tracking our progress as director of the Pittsburgh Regional Indicators Project and publisher of Pittsburgh Quarterly. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for having me. Yeah, when we booked you, we didn't know we'd have a great big economic development. Yeah, that's development very exciting. To talk it's, about. Yeah. it's terrific that that could be in the offing. What, that'll be a major shot in the arm and really lift the, the gas energy, as you and I were discussing, to, to the next step in, in using a lot of that gas here. It would be terrific. It's, it's interesting. You and I have been journalists here for a long time. We started benchmarking Pittsburgh against 14 other regions in the mid-90s. And as we were discussing, back then we did well in terms of the arts. We didn't have much in the way of commuting time. It was an easy place to live. But every time, just about every time we published something back at the Post-Gazette, I always felt a little bit guilty because we did so terribly, you know, year in and year out on the economic measures. And what a change it is now. Um, job growth, we're leading the 14 benchmark regions. Um, as you know, we, we didn't go in as deeply into the recession and un uncharacteristically, we kind of leaped out of it. We're leading in job growth, we're much lower in employment, average wages have been on the rise. It's a, it's a remarkable tran transformation for the region. Uh, Pittsburgh Quarterly is on the newsstands right now and you've got the entire sort of annual summary for, for last year as well as the, the final report from the Power of 32 Regional uh, Visioning Initiative. So you've got a kind of a snapshot of the present and, and kind of a look forward at what could be ahead. Yeah, it's, it's a, our big annual issue kind of on the, on the region, an annual report, if you will. And this, this year we're fortunate to have the report from the Power of 32 and they, they are unveiling in this report the series of goals which they've developed through gosh 150 meetings all through the 32 counties on what they hope to accomplish what our visions and strategies and hopefully target projects will be for uh, achievement by 2025 so it is a packed issue full of for people who are interested in the region 
this is an unusually thick one. Yeah, and as you mentioned, in an unusual position to be sort of leading the country out of a recession. I don't remember this happening uh, before around here. Not, not in our era. I think when we were still in the heavy industry, we would lurch out as the mills came back to life. But in, in more recent decades, we've been you know, we've been slow in and kind of slow out. This is this is the best of both, if you will. Didn't go as deep and then kind of lurching out. And as you know, we're, it's strength in a, a series of sectors, certainly the energy sector, um, and the Marcellus plays a key role in that. The finance sector has, has been very strong, un, unlike a lot of uh, regional economies. And of course, the Eds and Meds has really been a, a, a primary anchor too. So we're seeing a much more diversified dynamic economy than we've had in recent times. Well, the Pittsburgh Regional Alliance uh, just last week released its annual report on the number of uh, uh, business investments and, and attractions in the region last year. And uh, financial and business services was really strong as well as energy. So you're right. And, and it, particularly when you're talking banking and law and those kinds of things, they're, they're not strong sectors in many other parts of the country well we didn't get we didn't get whacked during the last three or four years I mean so many regional economies lost so many jobs uh, clearly PNC was a big big winner um, and, and part part of its relatively more conservative banking pr practices in our region and part of it is the the good maneuvering and the the excellent execution of PNC in terms of the national city uh, merger so we're seeing we're seeing a lot of a lot of areas functioning well, and it's you mentioned the site selection back 15 years ago. We were always near the bottom in terms of places for site selectors. So for Pittsburgh to be seen as a place to expand and bring new business is really a, a change and a welcome one. So we're done. All the hard work, economic development, making the region better. We can check that box. We can all just retire and take a wonderful vacation. It's all going to take care. I assume. You've got some other indicators that may indicate there are things we still need to work on as a community. The three areas that jump out to me, first is transit. Clearly people realize that in order to get the main ingredient of an economic engine to work, the human capital, or the people, uh, labor, you need to have a functioning transit system. And I, I think people generally agree that what's happening year in year out with the Port Authority essentially amputating other parts of service is not helping us in a long-term way to kind of keep our economy strong and so clearly a, a viable long-term funding source needs to happen there. Two other areas um, in terms of the air quality the Heinz Endowments has been making people aware of something that is that we don't have the best air and that's something that shows up. Interesting, we did a major survey with Pittsburgh today, and um, and people don't believe we have an air problem. Of course, the air is so much clearer. Well, yeah, they're that comparing you, it right. to what everybody knew 40 years ago. But the the other big area is the and where there are stark differences is in the quality of life between the African American community and the so-called white community. We see that in economic measures. We see it in health measures. Um, it's, I've been a journalist here now almost 27 years, and it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it really makes me look at these things twice, and it, it requires some attention. Of course, there is a good bit of attention on it, but the numbers come out very, very strongly that in terms of the quality of life, which is terrific in national and international measures, there is a bit of a disparity there. Um, so there are things that we need to work on. Um, so we've gotten a little girthier in terms of our uh, our overall health. You know? So you're seeing that a little bit too, right. kind of some of the weight issues. But it speaks to the point, you know, we were in and trying to engineer an economic comeback from the hole the region had fallen into 30 years ago. That was one thing. But now when we're dealing more from a position of strength, one would think we've got to take some of the challenges that remain perhaps a little more seriously. Well, and we're well poised to do that. Um, Certainly, we have a strong economy now, and, and the kind of confidence and, and the, the ability, again, to believe in our problem-solving capabilities. So we have a strong economy. We have an increasing group of young people who are getting involved, who, who want to envision and be a part of kind of forging a better future for the region. And we have this terrific asset that so many of the other regions don't have, a really engaged and, and very strong philanthropic community. Um, if you throw that together with the kind of, hopefully, the political leadership that we all, every region hopes to have, you have an ingredient, you know, a, kind of a recipe for 
for being able to solve some of our problems. All right, well, let's go out there and, and make it all happen. Doug Hoyk uh, from the Pittsburgh Quarterly on newsstands right now and also the Indicators Project at pittsburghtoday.org. Thank you so much. Thanks Appreciate a lot, it. Bill. And next up, commercial nuclear power. It was born in Pennsylvania and almost died here. What's the future hold? Well, our region may very well have the answer. Former Pennsylvania Governor Dick Thornburg will be here to talk about it. Stay with us.